what is going on everybody welcome back it's your boy calypso here to bring you guys an update on the reef tank and how things are progressing with the new build and how things are doing with the tanks in general so you guys know i've been posting stuff on ig whenever i get the chance of the new build which is a 24 gallon shallow and it was a it was a build that wasn't uh i wasn't planning for but the tank was available uh my boy straight reefer gave it to me and it was always my plan to set it up not too soon but you know i decided let me try to start building it and see where i go with it and see the decisions i make with it because you guys know i'm doing the 40 gallon breeder as a sps dominant tank and i got a bunch of zoos in the bottom um which i'm planning to remove and that's why i was setting the 24 gallons on shallow because i was planning to move everything from this tank into the 24 gallon and also add all those zoos in there and that way you know i can increase the flow whenever i need to and do things that i that i i gotta do to a sps reef tank that you cannot do with a softy or um any other tank setup so what i'm um still debating about it um I got the stand here already built and that was the stand that I was always planning to build for the 14 gallon nano and I think I'm still gonna go with it I'm still gonna go with it I'm gonna move that stand over here place the nano on top of it and keep the nano for now running so I could place all the controllers and all the stuff that I want to do inside the stand because that's what the stand was for that way i get more space for myself in the bottom of, of this tank and also i got a place where i can have all the controllers away from any any um moist any anything that could potentially damage the the equipment in the future because uh all, all the all the moist and all that that get collected on there um i'll also be working on covering the stand completely so so far it's being covered i could say three quarters of the tank i did put a door here which i got it over there but i need a ventilation so the heat gets gets out of there because it is it's blowing the the panel and then again there's no support that can hold them in place so i just put them there and they're gonna bow um I mean, it's not attached to nothing, so that was potential to happen. But what I'm planning to do here is once I remove all the controllers, these controllers right there, that's when I'm going to make my ventilation so I can remove the heat away from the sump area. And that way, probably I could eliminate the bowing of the panels and it'd be a little better um, in here. Uh, everything is running smoothly my shadow and everything there's growing out of hand I got a mushroom down there in my refugium but I also got plans with, with this sump with this setup so once I do that stand over here I'm moving my ATO out of there it's gonna be placed also inside the stand and I'm gonna utilize that space what I'm planning to do is I got a six gallon right here right there so what i'm planning to do with that tank is add it to the system and make a bigger refugium i'm trying to see which ways i could do it so it could be functional and and it works nice you know and it'll look crazy in there but i think i can make it happen with that six gallons so that's one of the plans i got right now going and i think I, i'm gonna I'm going to continue with that plan because I like the fact that I could have a bigger refugium where I could grow more microalgae and, you know, use it to remove phosphates and nitrates out of the water. Since my shadow is growing out of control, it would be really, really nice to have more space for it. That way, that space right there, I'm going to utilize it for biomechanical filtration by biomedia block that I got back there. That way I got more space right there for any other future equipment or anything else. So we'll, we'll got plans here. We just got to do one thing at a time. Um, the reef tanks are doing good. Uh, let's start with 
the DMT, like always, uh, my eight cans. Light's supposed to be off right now. But, you know me, I'm doing stuff here still. And I kept the lights on a little longer. So, um, but everything is doing well. All the corals that I added here from the 40, like the gargonians, the mushrooms, couple things in here, they are doing good. All my SPS, the anemone, everything is doing good. Everything is great in this tank. So, real quick, this is just a quick update for you guys. So, sorry if I'm a, a little in a speedy mode. But here, the 40, the SPS are doing phenomenal. I can't complain. Everything is doing good. Let's take a quick look at how corals are doing. Things are just growing, growing, and growing. Um, I'm so, so... Uh, happy about that seeing things grow and color up really nice like forest fire dg or bubble gum dg on my sps here on top doing really 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 well this dendro here i think in the last video i talked about it that i thought i had died but it didn't die and exactly what i said in that video i think that's what happened the mucus from the fish Got on top of it, stretched the heck out of that head. But if you guys can see right now, look at that tip. It still got a tip in there. So that's the mouth of um, the polyp. So hopefully, once the stress goes away, it's going to come back to life. And we're going to get to enjoy all those four heads again. So as they're doing great, this one here, I forgot the name of this. Um, Chalice, I think is what it is. I don't know if it was a raspberry chalice, but it's, it's recovering, it's doing good. So hopefully it's gonna grow over that uh, that skeleton and it's gonna recover really nice. Everything else here is doing great. These dogs are looking amazing. A little bit of algae there, but it's all right. Um, but can't wait to see that plug full, full, full. I'm in love with those. But things are just amazing, doing good, man. Can't complain. Let's come on the other side. Well, first, let's take a view from the front. Tank is looking amazing. I got to give a big shout out to Aquashart. You know, that carbon that they use or he makes, they sell, is, is just amazing. It just keep my water so pristine. I mean, look at that tank. So pristine. Corals love it. Air, air fish love it. I mean, it's, it's, you know, can't go wrong with that. So here, on this side, we got more zoos. They doing also great. They just blooming right now. My SPS from this side. But everything's doing great in the tank, guys. I mean, can't complain. Can't complain. My euphelia, I put it there. I don't think it's a good spot for them. Um, I still looking for a place where to put them and where i know they're gonna thrive and they're gonna look good so all the fish are still here you know nothing to talk about the fish right now my clown still in recovery i mean i still gotta get the tank now that the tank is gonna stable again i could treat the tank again because she's still not getting weight she was looking good for a minute but um i think she lost weight again a little bit um even though she's even fine but I, I'm probably going to buy her some type of pellet that is good in nutrition and, and proteins and all that to see if I can fire her up because she needs some weight on her. But so here's the stand. Let me turn on the light real quick so you guys can see where I'm at so far. I don't know if it looks better like this, but this is also the leftover pieces that I have from the 40 gallon breeder stand. And... Look at that. It's just an amazing job that I did here with this one. You know, um, I got new tricks that I learned with this one that I want to share with you guys in a later video. But the stand is, is just doing amazing. Got a back panel, my power bar brick there. I, I saw a video about this one. So thank you, Chimp the Reefer. I think it was you. Um... I, the, they caught on fire so i'm gonna check more on it and probably gonna remove this one and get a new one that's gonna be worth it so all right 
that door is gonna fall. Hold on. I put it wrong, that's why. There we go. So that's my door, magnetic door. So the stand is just great, man. I just can't wait. Probably do it this weekend. I'm gonna place the nano tank on top of that one. And we go from there, guys. We go from there and we continue with the plans that we got with the reef. Alright, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe because I got a ton of things coming your way. And you guys know me. I like my DIY stuff and upgrading and doing things better and learning as I go. Um, I'm not no expert in what I'm doing, but I'm learning a lot. And patient is the key. Trust me, patient is the key and stability. Um, so, yeah. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a video. And I see you guys in the next one. Hasta la próxima. Your boy Calizos out. See you guys.